Hi there. Now this is the real method which I have used. I'm going to show you some interesting tips here which have really helped me to be a better communicator. And these, these tips are really awesome, very effective, very practical. Just you have to follow them regularly. Of course, there is no question of any grammar, but using natural methods, using scientific methods, time-tested methods, and methods which have helped my hundreds and thousands of students, including myself, to speak a better English and confident communicator. So this is for you. Don't miss this. See the video and then see the effect on your communication, on your fluency, on your confidence. So let me begin. Well, before going ahead, let me recap what we learned in the previous video. All of you see, actually, uh, in that video, I had promised that I'm going to make some four videos, uh, I mean, a sequence of this, but I couldn't, I'm really sorry for this. I was very busy in my online training session, so I couldn't do that. But now I will definitely do it and watch these videos. If you haven't seen this previous video, the link is given here, please watch that and then come to this video. Only then you will understand what exactly I want to say. A very interesting, very important uh, series I'm making, four or five videos out there, watch them very carefully. They're very important, very crucial. How oh, one more thing I, I've forgotten to tell you, my podcasts are there now, you can go and listen to my podcasts. I speak mostly on handling your emotional personality. I don't talk about English fluency there, I talk here because Listening a podcast should be very interesting and podcast should also help you to develop your fluency. This is also a part of our training. All right. So listen to my podcast. The name of the podcast is given here. Dr. Sandeep Patel podcast. Now here I go recap. See the basic problem here is this. Our problem is understanding English and not grammar. Many of us think that my grammar is a problem. No, your English is a problem. When I say English is a problem, I mean to say your understanding also and your ability to reproduce that English, both are those problems, but you don't understand that. So this is the crux of the previous video. I know I'm sure all of you have seen that video. Let us move forward now and let us see now what exactly what I want to say is this. Now, uh, all of you, you don't understand English. What I mean to say is we don't have native speakers around us. And even if you have native speakers around us, even if you have clients, foreign clients, overseas clients, we don't understand them. And in that particular video, the previous video, I told you to go and find out your listening scores and your reading scores. And I'm sure that all of you have done that. If you have done that, now this will be easier for you. You, you don't have all the foreign speakers, native speakers, but we can change and we can adapt a new way of listening, understanding. See, the, 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 the foundation, the fundamental is this. The fundamental is the more you listen, the better your fluency. The more you listen, the better your fluency. Your listening is the key factor for developing your sentence structure, developing your pronunciation, developing your natural rhythm, intonations they're called. But our problem is, we don't understand that podcast. We don't understand that English. Before that, what is a podcast? If you don't know what is a podcast, it's a simple thing. You have to just go and there are some good apps out there. Google Podcast is there, Spotify is there, or you can go with Storytel and they have all the podcasts available. Now, it's very crucial to choose the right podcast, but let us move forward why we need to Understand a podcast, understand listening a podcast. Well, if you keep on just listening a podcast and if you don't understand, it will be just like uh, listening to sounds, just noise is there. You do not comprehend what's going on there. So listening a podcast is very crucial and the most important step in developing your fluency. If you don't understand, no use. I mean, you are just wasting your time. So that's the reason why you have to understand a podcast. When you understand a podcast, only then in your brain, Broca's area is there, Wernicke's area is there. These are the two important language development centers. They will be able to reproduce that language. They will be able to reproduce, construct proper sentences. Like your mother tongue, the same thing happened with your mother tongue. All right, so this is the reason why understanding is very crucial. 
let us move ahead now why don't we understand as i said like here i'm mostly speaking on understanding we don't understand english many of us feel like i understand but we don't understand and the reasons are here first is our upbringing see many people don't i mean they're not comfortable accepting this that they don't understand they say that no, no i understand english i understand what you say i understand movies but actually they don't understand they think they understand but they don't understand and the test was there if your test i mean ilts test have given you it's above 35 then you are a very good listener otherwise no why don't we understand first point is our upbringing see it's very simple here how can we understand because we haven't listened to that language since many years i mean in our home we speak in hindi or your mother tongue and in school the same thing has happened even if you're from convent school in convent schools also just four or five hours of english and then you come home on the street in the society in the family everywhere we speak hindi or your mother tongue then how can we understand english so quickly and so easily we don't understand that and we are not from page three category we are middle class people at least i'm middle class and i mean around me we don't have people who are affluent and the english communicator class we don't have that this is the reason why we don't understand a podcast we don't understand good speakers next is the words meaning and pronunciation see another reason is this is the first reason now the second reason is the the good speakers I mean, speakers who are very fluent in english native speakers they use some words not many because all of you let me let me clear here good communicators don't use jargons they don't use difficult words they use average words normal words so it will be easy for you to understand and everyone including me we use all, all the average words but there are some words which if you don't know you will not understand i mean these words are needed you should know and if you don't know those words you will not be able to understand the fluent speaker words means what the meaning of the word and the pronunciation see the meaning means what meaning means contextual meaning every word is used in a different context in different situations the word is used so you should know in which situation the word is used well i will give you one example here for example uh, the word is okay flirt now you may feel like wow flirt means that boy and girl flirting no you can use in that way well uh, the boy was flirting with that girl that's fine okay another is that i was flirting with that idea see this can be used in different contexts also desert word is there well sahara desert is the biggest desert well the mother deserted the child it depends on the context this is very important and next is the pronunciation we don't understand the pronunciation accent is different accent is here pronunciation is different you have to understand the proper pronunciation accent is by birth may indians or we indians are crazy about american accent and many people say i want american accent i don't know why they want it important is conveying the message americans don't say we want indian accent but we are saying that we want american accent when americans try to speak in hindi they don't want to change their accent that's either mother tongue influence is there on hindi also but i don't know whether we have low self esteem or what I, I don't know but we don't like our own accent anyway so that is the pronunciation you have to understand i will tell you in the next video i'll tell you about all these things accent is a problem we don't understand the accent like american accent is there british accent is there australian accent is there so these accents we don't understand another reason is speed and connection with the voice what happens is when a good speaker is speaking you have to initially like understand easily like okay one sentence is finished another sentence has started that is connection with his voice you, you get connected and when you're listening to someone you're actually understanding means what you're making neural connections in your brain one after another one after another and when you understand that you make a mental picture in your head okay what well, this is what he's saying so what happens is due to speed we aren't able to form that connection and the reason is native speakers i mean fluent speakers don't speak in words they speak in sentences like cluster of words like they don't say hello how are you they say hello how are you connected connected all these three four words are compressed fused together this is the reason why we don't understand so guys this is what i wanted to say to you that these are some of the reasons why we don't understand podcast and why podcast is important that also i told you in the next video which you should not miss and this video will be in the series now no chance i'm going to tell you a very important factor a very important factor which you should not miss
stay tuned with my channel. I don't like requesting you to subscribe my channel. If my channel is good, subscribe otherwise. You are not going to subscribe my channel. But stay tuned for these three videos. They are really rocking. They will help you to understand. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. See you. Thank <laughs> you.